The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network with your host, Phil Grandy. In in an environment like this, early in expansion, I I think you have to buy the dip. So I buy the dip. Here we go again. Buy the dip. That was yesterday. I wonder how he feels today. Buy the dip. You got to be a dip to buy the dip. What are you, nuts? That's insane. As I told you yesterday, when you buy the dip, if you were in a stock and the stock was at $50 and it dropped down to $30, do you think you got a good deal? Oh, man, look, I, I paid $50 for that stock. It's now 30 Oh, man, I need to get more of it. Then you're assuming you bought a good deal at $50. We are in a stock market that there's no deals. Stock prices today are so overblown, they're insane. I've been on this earth for 75 years, in the stock market for 51 years. I can't remember when we had this kind of valuations are insane, insane. And they are trying to keep you in the market. The big money, the smart money, the institutional money, they're getting out of this market. If you don't believe me, go check the Dow 30. Go through each Dow 30. Put the 50-day moving average up on on your chart. Put the 50-day moving average up and count how many stocks are underneath the 50-day moving average. There's more than half. What's that tell you? The institutions aren't buying into this. The institutions are selling into these rallies. Just like the other day, when remember we had that rally on on uh, Friday, the half day, market collapsed. We come back Monday. And I told people, I told my members. In fact, we came in that day. We're supposed to be off. It was a half day. We're supposed to be off, and we came to work that day because we woke up in the morning. We saw it down nine hundred points, so we better get to work. And we told everybody, just calm down. Calm down. And I said, by Monday morning, you're going to go to work and you'll see this market back up because the plunger team's going to go in and they're going to rig the market to go up by buying futures. Sure enough, they did. And then I also said yesterday, listen, I said, let's see what happens. Be patient. By Wednesday, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, we'll have a pretty good idea where we are. But calm down. Don't overreact. Let's see what happens here. So what happened this morning? We're back down 500 points. Now we're down over 600 points. And this guy was telling you yesterday, buying the dip. What are you, nuts? Look, this is what gets me. This drives me nuts. The bubble makers. The bubble makers. Who are the bubble makers? Our owners. The ones who control the market who control the Federal Reserve, who own the Federal Reserve. They're a very small, tiny, tiny segment of our population. They make up one one one-hundredth of the U.S. population. That's so tiny. And they control everything. They control the Federal Reserve. They're a corrupt banking cartel. And what are they doing right now? As they do with every crash. Every crash, the same thing goes on. Remember, they're the ones who enabled the bubble. They're the ones who came up with the idea, let's go to zero rates. Let's make sure we go to zero rates. Let's print all this money, and then we'll buy all the treasuries so we can drop interest rates down to zero, so we can give the corporations that are in trouble money free. They can borrow it actually free, and they can buy their own shares to artificially push the stock market up. Rather... 
than letting us go into recession and do what is right. And let's rebuild the nation. Let's rebuild the economy. Let's not do that. That's too much work, our owner said. I mean, the smart way is in any crash always used to be you let your economy go into a recession. And then everybody cleans off their balance sheets, get rid of their excess, get rid of their debt, clean it up. And it's, it's painful for about four or five months. But then you come out of that strong, your debt's gone, you clean the balance sheets up, and all of a sudden you come out and jobs are four or five hundred thousand a month for about three, four months, and they settle back down to about one seventy five. They decided not to do that. No, 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 we don't want to do that. Because we want to get our money back. Who's that? Who are they? These are the very, very wealthy. They're the owners a very small segment of the population. And their their job is to take care of the top 1% of the population. Their job is to take care of the very wealthy. Those wealthy who are in Congress take care of people like Pelosi. Take care of all the people in Silicon Valley. Take care of the people on Wall Street. Take care of all that group. That top 1%. That's their job. And I have to laugh when they come in and they tell us how, well, look at this. We got a historic stock market rally up 440% since 2008. Look at the homes. Oh, my God. Home prices in one year increased 30, 20 to 40%. That is prosperity. No, that's to a good screwing. That's not prosperity. It's prosperity for a small, tiny group of people. They enabled the stock market to go up by 440%. They enabled these home prices to go up 20 to 40%. They didn't earn to go there. It wasn't because we grew an economy. They didn't even grow an economy. Can you imagine the stock market goes up 440% and they grew no economy? What is prosperity? Oh, I see. Prosperity just print money. And then you take that money and you go and you give it to the CEOs. And then they go buy their own shares. So they have less outstanding shares. And then their stock price goes up. Yet they didn't make any profits. They didn't increase their sales. They didn't increase margins. They didn't increase top lines. But it goes up anyway. So that's called prosperity. Housing. Are you kidding me? 20 to 40 percent. That's a small segment of our entire country, this housing. I told you the other day, you're talking about Washington, D.C. You're talking about New York City. You're, you're talking about Portland. You're talking about six, seven areas that people want to get out of the city, go to the suburbs. Of course, when they all moved out, there was no inventory out there. So prices went up. That's the, Remember, it wouldn't have been nice that prices went up because there was big business investment in those in those areas and people got good jobs and wages went up see that's how you build communities that's how the housing is supposed to go up prices of housing are supposed to go up what drives housing what drives housing prices is wage increases having good jobs areas of good jobs people used to always look guys who were in construction they all look all over the country where's the construction jobs i'll go there where's the construction jobs it always used to be driven by, by, by uh, housing was always driven by job, job, jobs. No more. This time it was driven by what? People weren't buying homes, they are were buying payments. I better buy that house before interest rates go up. How many of you right now are looking at a house and saying, you know, we better buy a house right now before interest rates go up? Can you imagine, God forbid, a 30-year mortgage right now is 2.8%. God forbid, can you imagine if we got to pay 3.1%? Oh, my God, shoot me. This would be a disaster. We may have to pay 3.1, 3.2 for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Oh, my God, let's go out there right now. Look for a house. The pieces won't be one away by housing price. That's not prosperity. That's stupidity. Stupidity. No, the market doesn't have prosperity to it. Or this housing boom. There's no prosperity in either one. I'll tell you where the prosperity is when we come back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG.
When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list, and it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. And you'll be in position. And you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worse ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free, for 10 days. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Did you know breast cancer kills 113 people every day? That's unacceptable. African-American women die from breast cancer nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Visit Komen.org slash unacceptable. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed. Because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you to start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264.
Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out PhilzGang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Listen, the holidays are upon us. Been asking about our gift shop. Okay, we got our holiday gift shop up and open. Just go to my website, philsgang.com, and you'll see right on the webpage, right there, it's in red, holiday gift shop. Hit that. And uh, Autumn did an unbelievable job putting that together. She really did. <clears throat> so please go there. Take a look at our holiday gift shop. There's some neat stuff in there and a wonderful job that she did. Please ch check it out, okay? Uh, so that's a great place to go. And also, th you know, here's another thing. Buy somebody a membership. Somebody would love a membership. Give somebody a membership, okay? And um, you, can, you can do that there as well. So there it is. All right. Now, look, the other day, we had a half day on Thursday. I warned you then. I said, when this, when market went down nine, nine, or Friday, 900 points on Friday, I said to my members, then I said to you on the radio on Monday, don't listen to these people that are telling you it's over with. There was a, somebody said it was a knee jerk reaction. Now, this guy was a jerk who said that uh, uh, yesterday, knee jerk reaction. I don't know if I have to cut it loaded, but it was a knee-jerk reaction. And I said, no, it wasn't. When you have something like that, that means something internally is going on the inside. And the first thing you do when you get something like that, go to your Dow, 30 stocks, go through them quickly and see what is the breath. And when you see the breath is bad, and I'm not talking about the stock ate some salami, I'm talking about that you have more stocks that are under the 50-day moving support line okay the moving average then you have above it something's wrong we also know this i've been in this business long enough every crash is the same the big guys get out first it reminds me when i was a kid and my cousin and my brother and myself we went into there's an apple orchard and in the fall we used to get the beautiful apples it was in vermont we used to go and steal the apples and and I'll never forget, we were coming out, and now I was supposed to lift the, lift the fence for them to get underneath and out, right? So they, they wouldn't get caught. And then I went, I somehow let the fence go, and I was on the inside, but I couldn't get out. And they took off, so they couldn't lift the fence for me. It's the same thing with stocks. They're lifting up the fence for each other, getting them out, each other out. But they're leaving you inside. See, they want you to keep buying on the tip. They want you to cost average down. Because can you remember, these are the guys, the top 1%, our owners. These are the owners. These are our owners. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. That's right. They're the they're a very small part of our population. One one hundredth at one percent. Their job is to take care of the top one percent. That's their job. Take care of them. Everybody else, they could care less about you. So what they're going to do, and they do it with every crash, if you go and take a look, they will always do a rally, okay, and then they let it drop. Then they get everybody to come in and buy on a dip. Here, I'll show you. If you, if you go to your, if, if you have a, um, if you're in front of your computer, you can check this out. If you have a mo mobile device, come to my computer, you'll see where the S&P is. It's exactly what they do. Now, do you remember I said last week, I said, you know, I do my Friday, I do my uh, unfolding a stock market crash. I post it every Friday about, you know, uh, 6 o'clock at night so we can have it over the weekend. And I said, my, and it says unfolding the market crash. But I tell everybody, look, I don't do that so I can say on December 21st at 1.15 in the afternoon, the market's going to crash. That's ridiculous. But I did say last week for the first time, I said, you know, I got a sense. I think we're going to get a crash probably around February, March. Now, why did I say that? Well, if you go and take a look, if you see, they had a drop. The market was, was rallying, and then right around, it was right around, uh, I think it was around September 8th, September 9th. 
Okay, we had that. We had about a seven percent drop. Okay, I think it was around yeah, it was around September third, and then it dropped down to around uh, October one. It was about five seven percent drop. Then they rallied it back up, and and up to a high. We were then somewhere around on the S and P. We were somewhere around four hundred seventy four bucks, and they couldn't make a new high. So what they do is they try to get you know they, when the market drops, they get everybody in. They get all the suckers in, the buying a zip, buying a zip, to rally the market. And when they rally the stock market up from October 5th, let, let's say uh, up to uh, November 22nd, which went up about 7%, I think it was, everybody's, the big guys, the, the guys who created the bubble, these are the people who did it, who created the bubble, they're getting out. It's called selling and selling into the rally. These are the enablers. They know exactly when the market's going to crash. They they're the ones who created the bubble, and they know, and they're the ones who are going to pop the bubble. But they're not going to come on and tell you. You think the people from Fake Business News Network, those people are going to come on the air and tell you when the market is going to crash? They'll never, you never hear them say that. All they tell you how everything's great. Listen. I think um, you know the, the the consumer in the United States is in pretty good shape. Uh, is in pretty good. Are you kidding? Is, where's he been living? Is he is he talking about the consumer who makes two three hundred thousand or more, or is he talking about the consumer seventy two point three percent of our working force who are living paycheck to paycheck? They're doing good. No, they're not. They got historic debt. The only thing that's keeping them alive are these low rates. Are these low rates? And 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 here's another one. Listen to what he says. Uh, we also have a consumer that that has a much stronger balance sheet. Have- How, consumer doesn't have a consumer has historic debt, historic household debt. Who are they looking at? Who the hell are they looking at? I know who. They're looking at the top 1%. It's unbelievable. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right out the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right out the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. 
I signed up, and I've learned uh, an incredible amount from Phil and Steve. The staff at Phil's Gang give platinum level service and stock recommendations. You know, it's as simple as that. At the end of a month or so, uh, I've always been in the in the black. Phil's Gang is a class act. I'm happy to be a member. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list, and it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. And you'll be in position and you'll sleep at night you don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and philsgang.com, you can. PhilsGang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With PhilsGang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to PhilsGang.com. PhilsGang.com today. 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at PhilsGang.com. You've probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out PhilzGang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. Hey, welcome back to Phil's Gang. Join my gang free. That's right. Free for 10 days. And you get my color-coded chart free for 10 days. Just go to my site, PhilzGang.com, or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-GANG. Or 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Free. 10 days. Both the membership and my color-coded chart. And it's, it's fun because you're going to, for the first time, learn how to sell short. Now, they're telling us how strong the consumer is and how strong corporate balance sheets are. Really? Okay. Then let me ask them this. If they're so strong, then why is it we have the highest, we have historic debt, household debt, household debt. It's never been this high, which includes everything from their student loans to their mortgages and, and, and the money they're using to go shopping because rates are low. They're doing refis. They're in lousy shape. They're not in good shape, these consumers. What are they talking about, great shape? They're not in great shape. Most of the money they're using for go online shopping, go Christmas shopping, is they've been taking a lot of money from their homes, just like they did right before the crash of 2008. 
They took out about eighty billion. Right now, we're on a runway uh, of more than ninety billion, almost a hundred billion. They're doing the same thing. If things are so great, then how is it that and and they're calling this prosperity? This 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 big rally in the stock market, big rally in the housing market. No, that's not prosperity. Prosperity is risk, business investment, increased productivity. When you increase productivity, you increase wages, increase jobs, you increase economic growth. They're not doing any of that. And they say, well, how, and, and, and she says how corporate earnings are good. Listen to this. Uh, we also have a consumer that, that has a much stronger balance sheet. <laughs> we have corporate earnings that are strong. They're not strong. You know how they get their corporate earnings? The Federal Reserve prints all this money, they go and they buy 10-year treasury bonds because they buy them, the yield drops. That's the interest rate, drops. So they keep rates low so they can go and give it to a company who's loaded with debt. Remember, we got historic corporate debt. We never had corporate debt like this, historic. So what do they do? They go to the companies in trouble and the company goes and they'll reduce the amount of shares they have. So if they got their earnings coming in and it's going to show their stock is going to go from $10 down to $8 and they got a thousand outstanding shares, they go borrow money and they go and they buy, they reduce that thousand shares down to 800 shares. By doing that, because they have less outstanding shares, when they spread those earnings over 800 shares, the stock price will go up from $10 to 12. If they didn't borrow that money to reduce the amount of outstanding stock from 1,000 shares to 800, if they didn't do that, they would have lost money. The stock would have gone down to eight bucks. But the way they artificially get their earnings up, push those earnings up, artificially push the stock price up is they reduce the number of outstanding shares from 1,800. Now it shows the stock went from $10 to 12. If they weren't able to reduce those shares from 1,000 down to 800, then the stock would have went from 10 to 8. So it's all engineered. It's all funny, phony. This whole stock market. But that's okay. We're doing terrific. I love phony stock markets. This has been the easiest market in the world to play. It just keeps going up. It's been 13 years. And now we're seeing signs. We're seeing signs where this market's in real trouble. If, the, if consumers doing so well, and like I said, I don't care. I don't care. We're, we're doing, look, look, we're, we're a big time in, uh, in, in Xilinx. We're a big time in AMD. We're a big time in most all our stocks. We're making a lot of money in our stocks. Up 40, 45%. But I, but guess what? We're going to know when to get out. 80% of people don't and they lose money. But we're going to know not only when to get out, but when the market starts to collapse, we're going to turn around and sell short. So we're making our members are going to make money on the way down. So they're lying about how great the earnings are. And they're lying what great shape the consumer. If he's so great shape, the consumer, then answer me this. If they have so much prosperity, then why... Oh, and this happens every time before a crash. Every time before a crash. It's happening now. A record number of people start claiming their Social Security benefits sooner. Sooner than they otherwise would. That means they're desperate. And that subjects them to the rest of their life. They're going to get a lower payout. But people have to do that. Because remember what happened. Our government, instead of increasing jobs, instead of cutting regulations, instead of uh, getting out of the way, cut regulations, let entrepreneurs come in and start, uh, start small businesses. They killed small businesses with regulations. They didn't do that. So instead, you know what they told people to do? They said, I'll tell you what we'll do. When they, when they, pass, when they passed the CARES Act in 2020, they permitted you to withdraw up to $100,000 in your 401k or your 403b without any penalties. That's the worst thing you want people to do. And here our government puts in the CARES Act, Act, why don't you go and take money out of your 401k? Are you kidding me? Are you stupid? Yes, 
The government's stupid. The government instead should have said to folks, don't you dare, don't you dare touch your savings. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to take some regulations. We're going to cut regulations. We're going to meet with entrepreneurs who want to start up businesses. We're going to give them access to, to sound and good money. And we're going to make sure they start businesses because it's the middle class that starts businesses. And 70%, 70% of all our best jobs come from small businesses. Why, why, why take from your savings? Let's create a job for you. Let's create a job for you. And for you people who started out and you're working as bartenders or waitress, let's get up the ladder. Let's get you to management. Then maybe start your own restaurant. But see, the government doesn't think like that. The government thinks, especially now, the government, a bunch of socialists, they, oh, no, government will take care of them. No, we'll take care of them. Go ahead. Take your 401k. Don't worry about it. We're not going to penalize you. So the question is, if we have so much prosperity, then why are people doing this? With their 401k. Why are people turning around with their social security and taking it out early? What are you, nuts? Look, the thing we need to do right now, you should join my gang. Because you're going to have such a wonderful opportunity when this market drops. And it's going to drop big. But I know a lot of you don't think it's ever going to drop. Because that's what happens in crashes. In crashes, remember, these people on the fake business news network. Do you think they're going to tell you the truth? You think they're going to give you a heads up and see you, you better start getting out of the stock market when all they do is want you to buy, 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 all day long, buy, 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 buy. You never hear them say anything except buy, 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 all day long. What are you, nuts? I mean, think about it. We're seeing everything that's happening now has happened before every crash. And this is good news because we're going to sell short. And I promise you, if you become a member for 10 days free, you're going to see the value and how easy it is to make money when a stock goes down. When a stock goes down. So when I hear how this historic stock market rally of 440%, nobody ever tells the truth and say, it's financially engineered, it's rigged. Well, that's okay, I don't mind. But at least be prepared for the biggest crash you ever had. Because guess why we're going to have the biggest crash we ever had? We're going to have a historic crash. And I'll explain why it's going to be historic. It's going to be the worst crash ever when I get back. But in the meantime, join my gang free for 10 days. 877 gang And go to my website and take a look at the gift shop. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy. Is your business prepared to respond to any emergency in the workplace? Well, you better be. Let over 30 years of law enforcement experience go to work for you. Boyd Investigative Group is here for all your business security needs. I know. I use them. They're terrific. Call today for your free confidential consultation. 941-724-4535. That's 941-724-4535. Or visit them on the website, boydinvestigativegroup.com. License number A19000020. Sure. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG and you'll be in position 
and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worse ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Join my gang free for 10 days. 877-600-GANG. 877-600-GANG. And all we ask, if you start making money and decide to stay with us after 10 days, please help St. Jude. Okay, so... Listen to this lie. Here's another big lie. Listen to this lie here. The investments that are working their way through Congress now are paid for. They're saying these bills that are put through Congress are paid for. That is a bold-faced lie. What they're doing to pay for them is they're going to increase the capital gains tax from 15% to 38 or 43%. They're going to take our corporate tax, increase it from 21 to 28, and you pay those. Corporations never pay tax. You're going to pay those taxes. And you're going to pay the capital gains tax as well. And then they're also talking about doing a mark-to-market tax for businesses. So you think they're going to put all these taxes on businesses and businesses aren't going to add it to their product? If you go and you go to a Walmart and you buy a shovel and you don't think the shovel is going to be more costly... Of course it's going to be more costly they always corporations never pay taxes just like when 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 large corporations get fined diamond one of the biggest crooks banking crooks ever jamie diamond he goes and he breaks all kinds of laws and when they say well okay um you, your, your bank's got to pay 25 million dollars in a fine he doesn't pay it and the bank doesn't pay it the shareholders pay it. Why can't they ever come out and tell the truth? See, the one thing I love about the stock market, there's truth in the stock market. Oh, not through the fake business news network. They lie to us all the time. Telling you when to buy when you shouldn't buy. Telling you when to add to your position when you shouldn't add. Telling you to buy in the dip when it's dangerous. Ridiculous. One thing you learn from us is it doesn't matter if the stock market is up or the stock market is down. It doesn't matter if the economy is good or the economy is bad because you make money both directions. You're never wrong. You're never wrong. 
If you buy a stock at ten dollars, you think it's going to go to fifteen. It goes to twelve, turns around, starts coming down. We reverse our position, make money on the way down. So we're always in a position. You're never wrong. Now what do you do? Every time you buy a stock now, and same with your 401k, and when the market goes down, you can't do a thing. You sit there, lose money, you keep calling your brokers. Like your broker cares about you? Your broker could care less. There's no fiduciary relationship with your broker. Our responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. Partners, shareholders, that's it. You, you him say, oh, we care about our customers. Nobody in Wall Street cares about your customer unless the customer has a minimum of three million dollars. Then they take care of you. If you have less than three million dollars, you you go you go into this uh, you know, the dope pit. The dopes go in a dopey pit. Okay, they don't think of you. Any anybody has less than three million, you, you go into a generic uh, 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 club. You don't get any good information. They don't take care of you. You're thrown in a bucket, okay? Terrible. It used to be, God, if you had a million dollars, they'd treat you like a king. They don't even look at you anymore. Look, all you got to know about investing in stocks, you follow the money. And what we did is created a chart, a color-coded chart that tells us, is the money going into the stock, into Xilinx, or is the money coming out? So if we're up in Xilinx 40%, when it turns around and starts going back down, we'll make money on the way back down. Once you get that skill, the freedom you have is incredible because then you don't care. When you wake up in the morning, you can care less if the market's up or down because you're going to make money either way. Until you, can, until you can short a stock, you shouldn't be in the stock market. It's too hard. You know how good you got to be? If you're going to only make money on picking stocks that are going up all the time, and you always buy them right before they, they, they're ready to go back down, people never, rarely do people get into a stock right in the beginning when they should. But see, with us, you're going to get into a stock in the very beginning because our chart shows you that the money's starting to move in. It's telling you, okay, hey, look at the money's starting to move in. Let's buy it. So a stock goes from $10 up to $30. And now all of a sudden we get sell signals, sell signals, sell signals, take profit. And we see the money coming out. We just simply switch our position to where we sell short and we run it all the way back down. Doesn't that make sense? I mean, why buy it? You're in a stock. How many times have you been in a stock? And you go, I better get out. I think the stock is going to go down. I better get out. And what do you do? You go look for another stock. Isn't that nuts? That is nuts. What are you nuts? Go look for another stock? If you're in a stock and it's going up and you've been with that stock a month, two months, three months, whatever, and it's going up and all of a sudden it's going down and you're going to turn around and get out of the stock and go try to find another one that's going up, which is going to be overpriced, obviously. Isn't that crazy? Instead of just, you know what? I've been in stock for three months. I'm up 35%, starting to go down. I'm going to just switch my position. Just as easy as putting on a light switch, taking the light switch off. Just as easy. Putting the light on, light off. And now you make money as the market's going down. Remember, the Federal Reserve is a corrupt banking cartel. They're owned and they're controlled by the wealthiest people, the wealthiest families in our country. They control everything. That's why they call them our owners. And when you don't have that ammunition to short, if all you do is these guys rig the market always for themselves, not for you, and you don't have the skill to short, that's pretty tough. This corrupt banking cartel Members of Silicon Valley own these things. The big big banks, big hedge funds, the big financial industry. And don't forget, they control the monopolies, which means they control the prices of pharmaceuticals, agriculture, lumber, steel, oil, gas, commodity. They control everything. And what is their task? Their responsibility is to build wealth first and foremost for themselves and their families. And then the largest shareholders, which are the top 1%. That's who they take care of. They do not take care of anybody else. 
And we have thousands of members here at Phil's Gang that are everyone else. We take care of them. And our first job and foremost is to make sure they don't lose money. We drill that in. We talk about it every day here, our team. We always say, you know, if you can just get them to listen to us, they don't lose money, they'll be with us forever. They'll be with us forever. Because the buying of a stock is easy. Anybody can buy a stock, especially when the market's rigged to go up every day. But it's going to be that one day we're getting closer and closer. These people are called bubble masters. Remember who they are. They enable this market to go 400% through financial engineering called QE, stock buybacks. What a phony rally, but that's okay. We made a ton of money on the stock market since 2008, 2009. But now you got to start thinking differently. And our economy is the worst economy ever. What they're doing right now with all these social programs, we're going to have what, a total now, what, if you combine both bills, be over $3 million, $4 trillion. Do you know what that's going to do to this economy? But if you know how to sell short, it's fun. Because when the economy tanks, you go, that's great. I'm going to make money all the way down. During your 10 days here at Phil's Gang, Steve will identify for you the stocks that you should buy. He'll tell you, all right, we're going to buy this one. Or we're going to sell this one short. He guides you on our own portfolio. What could be better than that? It's just unbelievable. We've been pursuing a monetary policy that's consistent with a dire emergency. I get why we took interest rates to zero and started massive bond buying in March of 2020 when our financial markets were freezing up. And the unbelievable. This guy, Powell, he's unbelievable. The reason they went in and bought bonds so corporations could buy their own shares to reduce the number of shares so their lousy earnings would look better. All you got to know is, how do I short a stock? And you're going to learn that in 10 days free. Join my gang now. 877-600-GANG. Remember, go to our... Gift shop. Phil's gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877 600 4264. That's 877 600 4264. It's the 